How's it going guys? Hope you all are doing great. This is Evlog coming to you live and welcome back on another episode on Attack on Titan Season 4 Part 2 Episode 27 Number 86. Now the previous episode was a heavy episode because the Paradise Island are now at war with each other on Maryland soil. Amin, Connie, Levi, yeah, uh, Hajj, Hajj, Jane, and the others are now fighting the Yegerist. This wouldn't have come to fruition if Aiden had worked with his BFFs, his friends, his go-to a little more instead of choosing to do things all by himself. Now, we're going to find out and see what happens from here on out. So without further ado, Let's check out the next episode and see what took place. This is heavy, heavy stuff. This is some heavy bullshit. Hmm. If the table was turned, the Maryland's will not. Mm -mm. Sweet. Sweet. Mm. Sweet. You know, these are not like the little soldier titans that they can get around their neck and do all of that stuff with. You are facing the Colossal Titan and Annie's Titan. That would take too long. Yeah, because they were expecting to get this done as soon as possible within minutes or hours. Now I... Hmm, the rumbling is closing in.
I guess it's going to be a gamble. Going to be a gamble. Hmm. Rumbling, rumbling. Yeah. Now I did hear I did hear that um the writer of this show is going to be changing a couple of things, especially the ending. Uh now I'm not sure how much of it is going to be different from the manga um but i heard that there's going to be a different ending and a couple of things will be changed so i'm not sure where that is gonna i know the ending for sure i heard that there's going to be a different ending but i'm not sure if that is the only ending or if that is the only change we're going to get um on this final arc i guess it's something that we are gonna look forward to see both anime watchers and manga readers how this show is going to end you know but um it's heavy with everything that is happening right now you know i mean and connie had to do what they needed to do to to help the mission succeed right by killing their own the same the same the same people that 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 they have so much history and they've made promises to each other what they are going to do you know now if it was a titan that killed them or a marlin soldier that killed them it would have been a different situation but they were killed by one of their own intentionally Here comes Mikasa. Sui. Sai. You just swallowed him whole. Ooh, they shot off Rainer's arm. He's called the Armor Titan for a reason. His body can Ooh Ooh that underspear actually messed up his face. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? You see, the Yegris knows, he know, they know the consequence of failing this mission. Because if the Merlin gets the upper hand, they know what the Merlins has done to them previously, and they know what they're going to do if they fail this mission.
Falco wants to transform. He's going to do it anyways, don't he? I really think that Amin should have been able to be back into the fight by now because he is a colossal titan now, right? Unless if he has lost the will to fight. More Eucharist. Ooh. And meanwhile, Falco is here trying to, to transform. Things are not looking good for the Armor Titan and Annie. Shine. These are your people, man. These are your people. These are your people. <laughs> now they're going after the card titan. <laughs> Did it work? Ooh. Baco. He has transformed. Man, his transformation is different. The Jaw Titans transform. This is a new transformation. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out. Oh man, Flocho is going all out, man. Oh man. He's going all out. No! He missed Gabby once again. Gabby once again, y'all. Sweet. 
Oh my goodness. I don't think Falco knows where he is. You guys remember when Aiden transformed the very first time. He didn't really know where he was. Ooh. Yeah, if we remember when Aiden transformed for the very first time, he was like this as well. He didn't really recognize where he was or what he was doing. I don't think Flocho died. I don't think he died from that attack. You know, because where Gabby shot him, it wasn't, it wasn't really critical. That shot was not critical. I think he will survive. I'm not sure, but. I don't think he died from that attack. <laughs> He's looking for a place to die. Really? That is that his comeback to 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 that response. Oh, he's the one that stopped the reinforcement. Jaegerist. Jaegerist reinforcement.
So they leered those yogurists in there and blew themselves up with those yogurist reinforcement. Or oh, some of the reinforcement that are still around. Wow, the episode is already done. I feel like, am I the only one that feels like it's a little short? Am I the only one that feel this way, that this particular episode is short? Or maybe due to the action that was going on, time went by just like that. Now, however you look at it, However you look at the situation, <clears throat> it's hard to really cheer for any team. And I'm, I think I'm, I'm not the only one who feels that way. I'm sure at some point you guys that are watching this are like, who should I cheer for? Because it's hard to cheer uh, the Yeagerist because even though we understand why they are doing what they are doing, why they must stop the Marylands from advancing any of their plans and allow the rumbling Aiden to arrive for the sake of the Paradise Island. But what Amin, Connie, uh, Hag, Jane are doing are uh, more for all humanity. Not just for the Marylands, not just for the Paradise Island, not just, you know, they're doing it for the world. And knowing that the two people, okay. Now, is this the preview? On episode 28 or the continuation of on episode 26? Hmm. Annie asked Misaka. Uh huh? Are you gonna attack? Would you be able to sit back and watch? Now, I believe this is the third time or the fourth time she's asking her this question. Not even with Aiden. Wow. Wow. The dawn of humanity. Now, I believe on the next episode, we're finally going to see the arrival of, of the rumbling. The arrival of Aiden and his uh, colossal army force on Libro to Maryland. <laughs> now, what Annie just said right now, <clears throat> her statements. First of all, she asked Misaka. When the time comes, if I am to face Aiden once again, what are you going to do? What is your decision? Are you just going to sit back and watch? 
are you going to fight? And if you are to engage in the fight, which side are you going to fight on? Now, if I was in her situation, I will ask Misaka the same question because um, Misaka and Aiden, they are very, very tight, right? These two grew up, right? These, these are childhood friends. Every one of them, all these uh, Paradise Island that are currently on that ship, all the Paradise Island members that are on that ship, they grew up almost at the same time. So these guys have history. And you can see the the the, the remnants of their friendship when Connie shot one of their childhood friends, killed two of them. He still haven't recovered from that. Right? The mental stress, the 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 just thinking about what he just did will still come back to haunt him. Even Amin. Even I mean I mean, at this point, kind of, he's starting to lose uh, the, how do I put it? He's starting to lose his uh, cojones to fight. And where Annie is coming from right now is that she is fond of the group that she has now, right? She is starting to see things a little differently. And the toll of this war, what she's been through, trapped in that ice for years, all these things that she's experiencing has just dawned on her. She has dreaded, dreaded all the events and the events that is inevitable to come. She no longer wants to fight anymore. You know, she doesn't want to fight anymore, but I feel like she has no choice. Because if she wants to live, she's going to have to defend herself. And also, if she wants this mission to be successful, she's going to have to turn into her Titan once again to fight. It's inevitable. And throughout it all, throughout it all, all, these, all this is happening. This is happening because Aiden decided to massacre the whole world except his people. Had he not decided to do this, had, had he not decided to do this, will Annie ever see things this way? Will Commander Maggot, Theo Maggot, see things this way? Will Gabby see things this way? Will the Marilyns see things this way? The answer to that is, no, they wouldn't. So, which still takes me back to how I feel about this whole situation. Uh, Aiden deciding to kill off everybody and every country that subjugated uh, themselves to the Marylands. If he didn't decide to do what he wanted to do, will it bring peace? See a situation where the Marylands and the Paradise Island people are working together to the point that the Paradise Island people are helping the Marylands kill their own countrymen, their own friends, the people that, and it's not just their friends, the people that they grew up with, the people that they grew up with, shared dreams with, shared plans with, shared futures with, right? That's difficult. That's hard. That's why I keep saying, if the table was turned, will the Maryland do the same? The answer to that is no. But be that as it may be, um, it's so hard to cheer for anybody while the fight was going on. Like I, I've given you guys the reasons or my reasons why it's just difficult to cheer for either side because we all know what either side wants, right? But <laughs> you guys can let me know what y'all think. Am I the only one that feels this way? While the fight was going on, Mikasa, uh, Miss, uh, Misaka killing her comrade, people that she grew up with, killing them like it was nothing. Like it was nothing. The Yeagris as well, uh, blow, using Thunder Spear to damage the Colossal Titan, damage Annie's Titan, and we're actually about to kill them. You know, what do you guys think? Am I the only one who feels what I felt? It's just difficult to cheer for either side because it's just a tough situation. I'm going to digress it here. 
post your thoughts and let me know what y'all think about this episode overall feel free feel free to share your thoughts however your thought feel free to share your thoughts because i'm sure that um not everybody shared the same perspective as i do and i would like to hear uh things from your perspective perspective i believe that this wouldn't have come to fruition if Aiden had worked with his friends due to the fact that he chose to go alone to do this. And maybe he did that to protect his friends because he doesn't want to see any of them get hurt. But by abandoning, by abandoning his BFFs, by abandoning his friends, he brought this upon the Paradise Island people and the Yeagerist, uh people. If he had worked with them, Ain't no way the Marilyn would have had the chance to get to them or to get to their soft side uh, to the point that the Paradise Island people or this group is now working with the Marilyns to stop eating. On that note, stay safe. Keep on keeping up.